So children, I am sure you must have seen the video in which we discussed about the cell, its structure and what are the functions, what are the different types of cells, whether there are unicellular organisms or whether there are multicellular organisms, also whether there are eukaryotic cells or whether there are prokaryotic cells. So today basically we are going to continue with the chapter and we are going to study about the structural organization of the cell. By structural organization of the cell I mean that how does a cell look like, what are the various functions of the cell parts and how are they located inside the cell. So coming to the first and the foremost is the plasma membrane. Now as the word indicates and as we have discussed earlier, the word membrane means something which is living. Now this plasma membrane, if we take the first two letters of this word that is PLL, we can also know the composition of this plasma membrane. It means that it is composed of P for proteins and L for lipids. Now this plasma membrane, however, has a very, very important function. It allows certain substances to move through it and at the same time it stops other substances from moving in and out of it. Now this basically is one of the most important aspect of a living membrane. This acts as a semi-permeable membrane, as for semi and as for selective. Means it does not allow all the other things to move in and out. It is very selective. Kisne andar jana hai, koi cheez andar jayegi, koi cheez bahar jayegi. So this is how it regulates it. So certain things which are useful, they will be allowed to enter the cell. And at the same time, there are certain things which are harmful. They will not be allowed to enter the cell and rather they will be thrown out of the cell. For example, there is oxygen which is very very important for the cell. It will be allowed to enter the cell through this semi-permeable membrane or the plasma membrane because every cell needs oxygen to respire. And at the same time, when the concentration of carbon dioxide goes very high in the cell, it has to be thrown out of the cell. So how does this happen? This also happens with the help of the plasma membrane and this plasma membrane allows it to move out of the cell. Now coming to this, we can categorize this process as diffusion. Diffusion means the gases, they are moving in and out and this process by means of which the molecules of the gases, they move in and out of a thing or they just diffuse or they move past each other. That is what is known as the diffusion. For example, you are taking agarbatti and you light agarbatti in one of the rooms. Thodi der ke baad uski puri khushbu sare ghar mein a jati hai. So how was this possible? It is because the gas molecules, they easily move into other distances or into very long distances. Now coming to another thing is that there are other things also which move in and out of the cell. For example, water. That is how the water enters the plant body through the roots. So these cells basically with the help of the plasma membrane, the water comes inside the cell depending upon what is the concentration of the medium which is around that particular cell. So on basis of this, we have got three types of solutions. The first is the hypotonic solution in which the concentration of water is very, very high and it moves from a region of a higher concentration to a region of a lower concentration by the process which is known as osmosis. But one very important aspect is that it should be separated by means of semi-permeable membrane. For example, जैसे आप किशमिश लेते हो किशमिश को आप पानी में भिगोते हो तो सुबह तक यू फील दैट इट बिकम्स वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड इट आल्सो बिकम्स बिगर इन साइज इट स्वेल्स इन साइज सो दिस वाज पॉसिबल ओनली विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ प्रोसेस व्हिच इज नोन एज ऑस्मोसिस ये क्यों हुआ क्योंकि जब आपने उसको पानी में डाला तो जो सेल था जो आपकी किशमिश थी जो आपका रेजिन था उसके अंदर सॉल्ट कंसंट्रेशन शुगर कंसंट्रेशन वाज मच मोर एज कंपेयर टू द आउटसाइड उसके अंदर पानी की कंसंट्रेशन कम थी पानी कहाँ ज़्यादा था बाहर तो पानी कहाँ से मूव करेगा बाहर से मूव करेगा कहाँ मूव करेगा जहाँ पानी कम है दैट इज़ इनसाइड ऑफ द रेजन और इनसाइड ऑफ द सेल सो सच सोल्यूशंस इन विच द वाटर कंटेंट इज मोर आउटसाइड सच सोल्यूशंस आर नोन एज हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशंस वाइल ऑन द अदर हैंड देर आर सोल्यूशंस इन विच 
outside the water content is less inside the cell the content is more of water then the water will definitely move from inside to outside and such solutions are known as the hypertonic solutions now at times there are also solutions in which the water content or the water concentration is the same inside the cell and outside the cell in this case jitne water molecule cell ke andar jayenge utne hi water molecule cells ke bahar aayenge so this kind of a transportation just balances the water amount inside and outside the cell to aise solution ko hum bolte hain isotonic solution so now children abhi humko kya pata chala ki kitne tarah ke solutions hain there are three types of solutions first is the isotonic solution then the hypotonic solution and the hypertonic solution Another very important aspect is you should remember the definition of osmosis and that is that is the movement of the water molecules from a region of a higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration when separated by a semi permeable membrane so this is how you remember the definition of osmosis now another structure in the case of the cell which is present there in case of plant cell and absent in case of the animal cell is the cell wall the wall term indicates that it is dead aur jo bhi cheez dead hai aur hamare ghar ki jo wall hai it gives us the protection same is the function of the cell wall in case of the plant cell it is giving it the protection it is giving it the mechanical support so in case we put a plant cell in case of a hypotonic solution and uske andar pani bahut sara aana shuru ho jata hai to cell will swell in size it will become bigger in size but it will not burst why because there is something which is protecting it there is a cell wall which is protecting it and it is also pushing the contents of the plasma membrane or the water inside so that the cell does not burst so this is a function of the cell wall coming to one very important component or structural organelle in case of the cells is the nucleus which is a life of the cell now this can be either spherical round ho sakta hai ya even oval ho sakta hai but it is there in the center of all cells now this nucleus is bound by a nuclear membrane there are certain pores in this membrane and they are known as the nuclear pores inside the nucleus is your hereditary material which is called chromatin material bolte hain which is composed of dna and proteins ab ye jo dna hai iske andar chote chote segments hain jinko hum genes bolte hain and these genes they carry the hereditary information from one generation to another jo aapka color of the eyes hai which you get from your father or your mother is through these genes now another thing that we need to remember is that ye jo chromatin material hai this is lying in a unorganized manner till the cell is dividing once the cell is about to divide then this chromatin material organizes itself in the form of a chromosome just before there is cell division so next component which is also another very important component is the cytoplasm this cytoplasm is filling all the area in between the plasma membrane and the nucleus aur is cytoplasm ke andar chote chote organelles bahut sare hote hain now we have to remember abhi jaise generally all cells have got a nuclear membrane lekin kuch aise cells hain jinme nuclear membrane nahi hoti nucleus ki such cells are primitive cells they are known as the prokaryotic cells and the other cells which have a nuclear membrane they are known as a eukaryotic cells now in case of prokaryotic cells ye sirf ek nuclear material thodi si jagah mein hota hai aur usko hum nucleoid bolte hain and all those organelles which are having the membranes are missing in the prokaryotic cells like the endoplasmic reticulum or the mitochondria now coming to the last is the cytoplasm साइटोप्लाजम के अंदर ये छोटे छोटे ऑर्गेनलीज होते हैं इन केस ऑफ द यूक्रियाटिक और द एडवांस्ड सेल्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दम आर परफॉर्मिंग दे डिफरेंट फंक्शंस अबाउट विच वी विल अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न इन द सब्सिक्वेंट वीडियोस कमिंग टू द लास्ट एस्पेक्ट इज दैट दिस साइटोप्लाजम एंड द न्यूक्लियस टूगेदर फॉर्म वॉट इज नोन एज द प्रोटोप्लाजम द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियस एंड साइटोप्लाजम इज नोन एज द प्रोटोप्लाजम सो दिस इज अबाउट द मेन 
components or main structural organization of any cell. Also remember children that in case of the prokaryotic cell, the number of the chromosomes is less as compared to the eukaryotic cells. So children, I hope you like the video. Do click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much children.